police have this surveillance video of a man uh, they're linking to one of these attacks. And, and while we watch that, tell me what exactly is it is, is he accused of doing to these women? Well, from what we understand, the video is somehow connected to the second of the four attacks. Hmm. Um, it happened sometime in April in Plano, which is north of Dallas. Um, they're not even telling us exactly what the video is from. Um, it's, but, but what they are telling us, the Plano police believe this is very likely their suspect, and he matches the description that uh, all four of the women have given. Um, and the women have also said that during the attacks, during the sexual assaults, he indicates he knows something about them. Uh, about their Scott, group. what does that mean? So um, he knows something about well, them. Like what? They're not. Well, clearly, all four of these women. The, the common thread is that they're a member of that sorority. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, the, as far as details of what exactly is said, cops are being pretty tight-lipped on uh, on giving us those details. But but they are saying that at this point, they really don't think it's a coincidence anymore that these four victims are all part of the same uh, sorority alumni group. It's it's just too much to be a coincidence, and so. Um, they decided to put that out on Friday, and uh, as you might expect, a lot of uh, a lot of anxiety among the members of the group. Sure. Uh, and then when you talk about these victims here, uh, we're talking, as you mentioned, 50s and 60s, but this uh, suspect is described as much, much younger. Yeah, he could he could be. Uh, it's kind of a, a vague description of a, of a heavyset black man, I, I believe, in his 30s. Um, but, but again, it's kind of unclear what his connection or motive is. They, they, if they know of a possible motive, they haven't shared it with us. You know, it's kind of pure speculation, talking to experts that, you know, maybe this guy has something against this particular organization. But, but really, like I said, that's speculation at this point. They're, you know, I think they're appealing to the public because they need tips. They need help identifying him. And, and hopefully somebody can recognize uh, those videos and, and photos they've released. Also with this story, all four of these sorority sisters were attacked in their own homes either late at night or very early in the morning. The attacker found each woman home.